Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So disclaimer, this video is not nail related at all. It is more beauty related. So if you're not looking to stick around because I'm not doing anything with nails, that's totally okay. And if you wanna see what I'm gonna show you, keep watching. So today I am going to show you guys the Bush Bomb products that I have been using and I absolutely love. I'm going to tell you my opinions on them, um, which ones I like, which ones if I don't like anything. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching as always. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. Alright guys, so first off, if you've not heard of Bush Bomb, they're actually a Canadian company and I went onto their website just to read, you know, the about section to see what their story was and how they came up with the product um, and their business in general. And basically what the storyline was, was one of the founding couples was I think on their honeymoon traveling somewhere and the husband wanted to freshen up down there. <laughs> And he grabbed some type of a facial oil that I'm assuming his wife had and he kind of put it down there and then he just sort of realized how great it was for that area as well. So they started, I guess, coming up with oils and things that would normally um, be utilized for the face and decided to try to figure out a way to get them to work for the lower region. And let me just tell you guys, I am thoroughly impressed with these items. So. Out of all of their um, skincare items, I think that I have tried all of them except for one item. Um, so there's one called Bermuda, which is, I believe, an oil as well. So as you can see, let's start off with the one that I was using and I have been using the most of and the one that I purchased and how it started off my little journey with them. Um, it is called the Nude Oil. So I purchased the Nude Oil and I purchased the Nude Scrub. So it's a very gentle exfoliant and the packaging has now changed for the nude oil I have a new one here that's um, unopened and it's now in a blue bottle so it matches this container here so basically like most women um, or men who shave their lower regions um, I have had issues with Mostly for me, it was razor burn. I've only really ever had, I think, two ingrown hairs in my entire, um, you know, time of shaving, thankfully, because I know that that can be a very huge issue for a lot of people. Um, but for me, it was more so just the redness and the razor burn that I absolutely hated and I would get sort of on the sides. Now, unfortunately, you guys, I am just not confident enough <laughs> to have taken before and after photos for you. But just trust me when I say it does work. My razor burn has been decreased, I would say, oh, by like 70%, 60, 70%, something around there. I still have a little bit here and there, but it's, it's nothing like it was at all. So what my routine is... Um, I actually used to be a two a day shaver. So I know that sounds crazy, um, but I bath twice a day. So I used to shave in the morning and then when I would bath at night, I would shave again. And that was okay for quite a while. And I felt like that actually helped to reduce my razor burn as well. Um, and I know that every time I say that I shave twice a day to people, they're like, what? But you have to keep in mind, there's really not a lot of hair. I think people in their mind are thinking like, it's a massive bush and you need a freaking machete to like get through it or something but it's not it's more so I think what it was doing more so was just exfoliating um, the skin right because there was not a lot of hair there just the razor was going over the skin and exfoliating it and I did also exfoliate as well with a um, I have exfoliating gloves so my routine since I've bought the nude oil has been I shave in the morning. So I will use my exfoliating gloves just with my body wash. I don't use a scrub or anything like that in the morning. I just rub the area to exfoliate and I shave with shaving cream. And when I shave, um, I'll just show you or tell you, I guess not going to show you. <laughs> 
that would be a little bit R-rated. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, so I shave at the top of my lower region. We'll call it a hoo-ha. At the top of my hoo-ha, this is my hoo-ha. At the top here, <laughs> I shave sideways um, first. And that goes into my crease and my leg area as well. And then on the bottom area going lower, I shave upwards. And when I'm done all of that, I do actually go back in with my razor on the very, very top. So just the pubic area here. And I do go upwards, which is against the grain, which I know most people think that's nuts. And that's probably why I've gotten razor burn. But I will say, since I've been using these oils and the sugar scrub, it's helped so much. So again, I start off by doing my regular bathing and exfoliating. Then I shave when I get out of the tub and I dry off, I immediately apply my nude oil. So I do two pumps. Now, let me just say that the one criticism that I did have was the pump. So when you squirt it out, it kind of splashes. So you really want to pump it into your hand sort of closed because it will spl splatter <laughs> sort of all over the place. But I did message them and just let them know um, because they had asked me to do a review and uh, they said that they actually are, I think they said they're either working on it or they already have in motion, um, they're working on getting a new pump because a lot of people that's been kind of the only complaint about the product. Besides that, it's amazing. So then I do two pumps and I rub that into my hoo-ha area <laughs> and that is it for the day. Then at night, when I have my second bath, I do not shave a second time um, any longer. I have not been doing that. I will go in with my, you know, I cleanse and, and bath and clean my body with my um, scrubbing gloves. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. And FYI, if you're hearing crazy sound, my furnace just turned on and it's very, very loud in here. So I cleanse myself. And then I take the sugar scrub, and as you can see, I'm pretty much out of both of them. Um, this one is it's like nearly empty, and it smells, oh, it smells really, really nice. And um, I scrub the lower area again, my hoo ha, give it a good scrub, and it's very, very gentle. This exfoliant is not super hard. It's not big chunks of you know sugar crystals. It's very, very gentle. And I basically just kind of rub it in until it pretty much almost dissolves. Like there's still a little bit of texture. And then I just rinse it off. I get out. I pat dry again. And then I apply again two more pumps of my nude oil. So that's just been my routine and what has really, really worked for me. Um, I have had sugaring done in the past. And I don't know if perhaps the lady who did it, because from what I've heard, it shouldn't have been as painful as it was. I'm not sure if maybe she just didn't do it correctly. Perhaps I was, I'm just a baby and super sensitive. I don't know, but it was the most painful thing. The last session that I went to, I nearly passed out. <laughs> I told her I cannot come back. It was just terrible. So for me, shaving is just the way to go. So this has really, really helped. So talking about the scent, when I first, um, you know, smelled the, the um, oil, I was a little unsure because they smell very much like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like essential oils, very like, I don't know if, I don't wanna say like hippy dippy kind of scents. Like I'm more of a coconutty, fruity kind of scent person. So at first I didn't like love the smell and the, the nude oil and the nude scrub smell exactly the same. Um, at first I was a little like, oh, I don't really love the smell, but over time as I've used it, I don't know what it is, you guys, but I really, really, really like this smell. This is absolutely my favorite one out of all of the um, oils that I have here. I have, well, I have three in total. Um, this one is my favorite smell. So the Bermuda oil comes in a exfoliant and an oil as well, um, but it is, I think, geared more towards dark spots. So if you have some you know, dark spotting or dark coloration um, around your pubic area or your armpits, this is what that is for. I didn't have that issue. I just had more like redness a little bit and razor burn. So that was why I stuck with just the nude one. But I've heard um, and read really, really great reviews about the Bermuda one. Um, in particular, I seem to see a lot of African-American ladies who have had a lot of issues with dark spotting. 
um, have been using the Bermuda oil and it has seemed to work very, very, very well for them. So if that's an issue for you, I would highly, highly recommend trying the Bermuda oil. It also helps with ingrown hairs um, and things like that as well. Um, I think razor burn as well. So that one I have not tried personally. So then we move on to um, the Sweet Escape Oil. Now I have opened them all to smell them, but um, I haven't really used I think I used the Sweet, Sweet Escape one a couple of times. Now I did ask the, um, the gals or guys or all of the people um, at Bush Balm what the difference was, and I'm just gonna read it to you. So for the nude oil, it says it is a barely there scent, which it is very, very um, light scented. It has a higher concentration of anti-inflammatory properties like tea tree oil and copiaba. I'm not sure what that is, but it has a higher concentrate of that. And then both of them are 100% vegan. They both treat and prevent ingrown hairs. They are both non-comedogenic. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They are for all skin types and they are both cruelty free. Now the sweet, the sweet escape oil is a soft sweet scent of tangerine and vanilla. It has higher hydration and it is high in vitamin C. So they are very, very similar as far as treatments go and what their uses are, but there is a difference in scent. Now I'm going to just like squirt a little tiny bit out because I can't really remember the scent. And I mean, you guys, you can use this stuff all over your body. It's not just meant for your hair areas. It's for your entire body. You can rub this all over your body. So it does have a bit of a sweeter scent to it. Almost a little bit, um, well, it says tangerine and vanilla. Definitely has that tone. It's really nice. It's soft as well. It's not overpowering. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just because I got so used to the nude one that I really, really gravitated towards that. But obviously I have the other ones as well. So maybe when I start using those ones, I will get used to those. I'm going to use the Sweet Escape one next. This one, um, my nude one is just about empty. So as soon as that's empty, I am going to go into the Sweet Escape one and that'll be the next one I use. And then they had pumpkin spice. Now this was uh, like a limited edition. I think they were considering bringing it back full time. I just don't know that they have. And the bottle is really, really pretty. Like, hello. So, so pretty. And this one has more of like a pumpkin spice. Um, oh, I can't get it open now because I'm greasy. It definitely has more of a spice to it. Um, yes, it definitely smells more of like clove and ginger. You know, though, definitely picking up clove. So if you like the scent of clove um, or like a pumpkin spice sort of scent, you would definitely like this. It's really, really nice as well. It's not overpowering. They are really nice oils, you guys. And I'm just telling you, I am telling you, I wish I could have taken before and after photos. I should have just done it, but I kind of chickened out. <laughs> And I didn't do it. It's just worked so well. I, I will never stop using this stuff as long as I am shaving my hoo-ha. I will use it. I've never used it on my armpits because I've never had issues with my um, armpit hair or having razor burn or anything under there. Um, but down there, I have definitely struggled. So until the day I decide to get laser hair removal, I will be using this bush bomb stuff. So now the other item that they actually sent me. So I had originally reached out to bush bomb and asked them if they would be willing to give me um, a coupon code to share with you guys because I, after using their product, I loved it so much. I wanted to try, I think I had ordered the pumpkin one perhaps, um, the pumpkin spice one, or I was about to order the pumpkin spice one. And I wanted to share it with you guys and do a video. So I had asked them again, like I said, if I could get a coupon code. Unfortunately, they said that they could not provide me with the coupon code, but they offered to send me some products. So then they sent me the, the pumpkin spice one, I believe. Um, I think that they sent me the sweet escape one. And then they also sent me their tush cream, which is really, really nice, you guys. So it is a firming cream and it is a thicker um, consistency. It's not like super, super, super thick, like a body butter, but it is definitely um, a little bit on the thicker side and it smells heavenly. So it has like 
I've never gone onto their website to like read what it smells like or what they say um, it smells like, but it smells a little coconutty, a little bit um, creamsicle-y <laughs> to me. It is just freaking nice, you guys. So I I'm, I still have quite a bit of it yet left. Um, I haven't used it as regularly as I should. You guys, I am literally one of the worst people for lotioning my body. Like, it, it's bad. Like, But I don't get super dry or anything like that. Um, in the wintertime, I get a little drier on my legs. So I will sometimes put lotion on but I'm really really bad I honestly don't even put day cream or anything on my face I literally just started using an oil of valet night cream because I turned 40 and I was like oh my gosh this is like I'm panicking I better start doing something before you know I start shriveling up <laughs> but that is it so I have not been super diligent with using the tush cream so I cannot say yay or nay to whether or not it really does firm the skin. But in my opinion, anytime you use any type of a lotion on your body, including your butt and your thighs, um, it's going to help the appearance of your skin, right? It's going to help with, I think, firming, um, any type of firming lotion. So in no way am I knocking this cream because it smells like I don't know if it comes in a bigger size or not, because like I said, they sent me this one, um, but I would highly recommend if you're going to buy it to get the bigger one because it does smell so nice. It blends in really nicely. As you can see, I just put some on my hands and rubbed it into my arms. It's not greasy. It doesn't like leave a weird film or um, yeah, like greasiness or anything. It just feels nice. It rubs in really, really nice. Now I have just put on two oils and lotion and my skin feels so nice you know it's funny my clients are always telling me my hands are so soft and I never use hand lotion I, I I've just been blessed I guess with soft hands I think also from wearing my gloves while I'm working quite often I think that that also um, helps because I wash my hands like 12 times a day and they should be dry AF and cracked but they're not so I must just be blessed with some good skin I don't know I mean they're wrinkly <laughs> They're looking a little old, but they're soft, apparently. So I do highly recommend, again, the Tush Cream, um, just for the simple fact that it smells so freaking good and it feels so nice on the skin. Um, yeah, like I love all of these products, you guys. I, I cannot say enough how impressed I was. I love the fact that it's a Canadian company. That's always a bonus for me, being a Canadian gal. If I have to score them out of 10, right now, all of these products that I have tried, I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10. I have no complaints at all, um, or I'd have to give them a nine based on the pump, but they're fixing the pump situation, so I think they're gonna be a 10 out of 10. They also have, um, I just was thinking off the top of my head, they also have an electric shaver that I've seen a few people use like on Instagram and things like that. That seems to be um, a really nice um, electric shaver. I don't use electric shavers, so again, it wasn't something that I needed to try. Um, but if I was continuing to have issues after using this, I would have probably tried the electric razor and just to see if that would have made a difference because that's something I have never tried. I've just always shaved while I'm in the bath or the shower. Thank you, Bush Mom, for sending me these products. Um, I apologize, you guys, that I don't have a coupon code for you, but I'm sure if you just search the net, there is going to be a coupon code somewhere. I think that even if you sign up for their email, you get maybe 20% off or something like that. So you can save a little bit of money off of your first purchase, but I would highly recommend them. I cannot say that enough. I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> but they are amazing products. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day.